I have a problem, I have too many ideas. But also a guy who sees some ideas, and this was exactly why I'm here, because I saw this potential 20 or 25 years ago. I had a customer from Germany saying, Peter, I need you, I want to purchase a farm in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, where is Nova Scotia? He told me there is a winery for sale, and honestly, it was the first time I heard the word wine connected with Canada. Canada's European was something to do with curling or hockey. Niagara was the waterfall. Okanagan was not, and of course, never Nova Scotia as a wine region. I saw this potential. With all these different regions in a beautiful region from Cape Breton of the South Shore, the Valley and Northumberland, that's the beauty here in Nova Scotia. I came home and say, I have an idea. I remember him telling us about maybe buying a winery. And then shortly thereafter, all I remember is him talking about, and we could do we could do weddings, and we can do this, and we can do that. And I kept thinking, okay, I'm in. Yeah, he came with the idea of buying a winery, and I, I loved it. We started to clean up in 94 with uh, all the 30 acres. We replanted 30 acres, and in 99, we had the first harvest. It was the first time uh, Atlantic Canada Winery did a gold medal at the Old Canadian Championship, and it was then like a wow. This was the start. And the pressure to the other wineries was big, but the beauty now is the wineries gives us now the pressure back. And that's great for the industry. Initially, I said, this is an eccentric idea that, that this gentleman has. Uh, I hope it works for him. I wasn't really sure. I'm so happy that, you know, that, he, uh, that he proved everybody wrong. Early on, that was always his thing. Like, d d we can't be the only ones. We're not going to get anywhere. Coming to a valley like Annapolis Valley and see over 5,000 acres of apple orchard, this was for me a wow. We have in, uh, in especially Germany and Switzerland, we have a spritzer or a, we call it Schrolle. We met down here in the valley in the richness of this agricultural landscape. Finally, I found a perfect partner, very enthusiastic. Partnership began based on the friendship. He was a mentor of mine when I was at the college at the NSCC. And Hans Peter presented an idea of a drink that he grew up drinking called the Shorle. It's apple juice and mineral water. I thought, this is an incredible opportunity and what a great person to partner with. You know, it's all been about cooperation, collaboration, which in tourism, in agritourism, in the Annapolis Valley, in Nova Scotia, is what we see every day. And Magic Wandry Bus is a, is a perfect example of that. It first began as a group of people coming together around a common table to try to come up with an interesting and attractive idea to attract people to Nova Scotia wine country. And here we are in the Annapolis Valley, in the center of Nova Scotia wine country. There, there's no better place. Trailblazer is a word that I've often used for HP. Visionary. And relentless is a good word because it's just, he won't stop, you know. Not that we want him to sometimes, maybe. <laughs> I'm just impressed and, you know, with his tireless efforts that he put into it. He encourages people to jump in with two feet. He encourages farmers, other entrepreneurs to think outside the box and to inspire an entire movement in Nova Scotia. It starts with him. It's just incredible to see the whole growth of the, the industry over the last two decades and to be right in the, in the center of it. I think it makes, uh, makes me feel incredibly uh, proud. His family share the same passion, the same commitment, the same desire to, to always want to excel, to do better, to continue to improve, to innovate. I'm excited to see where, where we're going next. I know he'll always be there. I call him often the founding father of, of the, the Nova Scotia wine and culinary in industry today as we know it.